Jessica LaHose, senior defender from Austin, Texas, and I'm also in the National Guard, and I'm at the 136 Military Police Battalion. Um, I mean, we spent the majority of our time in the Houston area, um, kind of like Katy, Sugarland, those kind of areas, kind of towards like further down I-10 towards the city. Um, but I definitely have to say that it's not obviously just Houston that got affected. It's, you know, like Beaumont, Rockport, Corpus Christi, all those places got affected. And it's like crazy to see like how much help they still need. Um, obviously, like I'm very happy that I'm back here and with my team and in school and playing soccer. But it's also kind of bittersweet being home and kind of having mixed feelings about being back because I know there's just so much more help that needs to be done. Because um, it's just, it's a lot. It's going to take a long time for them to recover from this. You know what you're getting yourself into until you're down there. And after like two weeks of like honestly being in like chest deep water and even deeper than that for like two weeks, like I said, you kind of get used to it and you kind of just have to make the most of the situation that you're in. Um, we met a lot of like really interesting people when we were down there and it was really cool to see like everyone, like all the first responders and even civilians like come together and work together. That was really like a cool part of the experience. Um, but yeah, I mean honestly just like seeing the devastation and stuff like that and having to help people um, who were like already nervous and freaking out and having a lot of anxiety because of like the situation they were in. Um, yeah, you definitely had to just keep it together and make sure you were like not upset about anything because they were trying to come to you for help and if we were upset then they could tell and we just had to make sure that we were, you know, doing the best we could for them. I mean, when we first got called, we didn't really know a whole lot about what we were going to be doing. Um, but at first they told us we were probably just going to be like giving like um, supplies and like helping with like um, like uh, evacuee shelters and stuff like that. Um, but then when we got down there, we had to do search and rescue missions, which is basically all we did for those two weeks, just help pulling people out of houses, um, getting people yeah, out, of their ho out of their homes, getting pets, anything like that, anything that they needed, because the water is unsafe and there's people there who like looters and stuff like that, just getting them out of harm's way. So that's basically what we did for two weeks, was just search and rescue missions. Amazing. Um, you know, just to put into words, uh, I was thinking about it the other day, there's not a lot of people that you know that can um, go to school full time, play sports at the collegiate level, uh, work and be a part of the Army Reserve. Um, just the, her dedication to everything that she does and her commitment is absolutely incredible. Um, honestly, I had mixed emotions. It was really hard um, because, you know, I just want her well-being and, and her to be safe. Um, and so I knew she was in a tough environment. Um, I, I had no doubt that she was going to excel and, and be able to, you know, help so many people. Um, she's the type of person that just will give everything that she has to something. And so um, I was incredibly proud of her work. I was incredibly proud of just hearing her stories about um, you know, how long they worked and they didn't have a lot of food because they were giving it away and um, the, the conditions that she was in, but um, I knew all along that Jess would be one that um, really excels in that environment. I guess in terms of things that I was capable of, I guess I never really thought that I could, I guess, like change someone's life or make an impact like that and that was really neat and cool to me. I definitely feel like I'm called to serve and that's something that was huge while we were down there and something that I definitely enjoyed. Um, obviously when I enlisted I knew that at some point I was going to be called to do something like this, whether it was being deployed or activated um, to help like in a natural disaster, but it definitely makes me excited about you know, the near future and when I graduate I'm looking to volunteer for deployments as well. I would say that it humbles more than anything. Um, you know, her being gone, you know, we loved and supported her the whole time she was there. It's tough not having her here because she's such a huge part of our team, but we all understood where she was headed uh, and what she was doing for not only for her country, but really what she's been called to do. Um, and so that was a, easy, I think. When she came back, the little sucker surprised us, though. Uh, she didn't tell us she was coming back, and, and she showed up at practice and um, a lot of tears. You know, she talked about some of the experiences that she had and, and how thankful we should all be just for every day that we have together to be able to do what we're doing uh, with a family that loves each other. Um, and so I think it was really humbling and it was just a really eye-opening for all of our girls um, just to be a part of it. I guess I didn't really realize the impact that I had um, on my team, I guess, and really just the school in general until I was gone because getting those messages and pictures and stuff like that and when all the athletes saying happy birthday to me, that was really cool because, I mean, yeah, it was really neat to have all that support. I was gone because it was like a whole different world. I mean, I was only gone for two and a half weeks, but it kind of felt like a lifetime. And it was really neat to come back and see like everyone just like say thank you, which was like kind of like, I don't know, it just felt, yeah, it was really rewarding, really humbling. And um, I was really happy that I got to come back and surprise my team because no one knew I was coming back. Um, I know that like having Jess here at practice and during games and team dinners, that kind of thing, she has such a powerful energy. 
And she really helps us all stay positive and um, work harder. So I know that when she went down there that she really had a positive impact and she really worked just as hard as she does here, but for a different cause and for a stronger cause. Um, so that I, I know that she um, worked really hard for them and did everything that she possibly could to help. Um, we all know that we are incredibly lucky to have Jess on our team and I think it was a humbling experience for all of us that we got to stay here and she went down there and was willing to go down there and wanted to, wanted to go help people and it kind of, her coming back kind of helps put all of it in perspective and like remind us that like we, we don't have things that we need to worry about compared to that and I know that like she, she was willing to go down there and I think that says a lot about her character and I know that we are all super lucky to have her on our team and like get to have her as a part of our lives. Um, obviously it's my senior season so I was like really upset that I missed those first two home games but really confident in my team this year and it's never felt like more of a family than it has like this year. The girls are really good, the freshmen are crazy good and we've worked so hard to get where we are and um, everyone's been working really hard and I knew like there was no doubt in my mind that they were going to kill it while I was gone and I was so excited to come back and play and everyone just like busted like just totally killed it this weekend and so I was so excited about getting back on the field and working hard with my family.